Hello, welcome to video 5, peace of mind. What is your peace of mind? What is peace of mind? Do you think about your peace of mind? Do you want your peace of mind? But what we do as a human, as a human being, is that we have peace of mind with all kinds of conditions. But reading in my book, you will see that there are no conditions to peace of mind. Where do you look at in the world? How do you see the world? If you're looking at the news, what kind of news are you looking at? Do you see the old troubles in the world? Or do you see all the nice things in the world? Because where you look at, it's your, what you see is what you think and your interpretation of the world. But is it really true? Is it the world or is it your world? In my book, you will read that you always want to be in your world. The world is the decor. The world is like you know, a stage where you can take away anything you want. So take your requirements that you want out of the world and put it in your world and live from out your world. So where are you looking at? How do you see the world? Or better, how do you see your world? Is your world a life is beautiful world? Or is your world whatever it is? How do you want to see it? Because that's important. If you see the world as in happiness, you will receive happiness. If you see in the world trouble, you will receive trouble. Why? Because you're communicating with the conscious that what you see and your interpretation of it. As a human, you live from past and not from the future. And we tell you in my book to live from the future. And then it's also with emotions and there is heart and uh, heart issues and uh, head issues and where it's come from. Is it the head or is it, your, is it the head or is it your heart? What is the difference? In my book you will read, there is no difference. Because you're one human being, communication with the producer, the consciousness, and the consciousness will take care that you receive the things that you are communicating. Let me tell you how it works in the world. So there is your world and there is the world. And sometimes it will be connecting to each other. But then you have a choice to be in your world, stay in your world, or become into the world. There is a difference. Imagine, I'm going to a cinema and I have a very nice idea that I want to see that movie. So at Friday evening, I go to the cinema. I step into my car and listen to my favorite music. I go to the cinema and look at a very nice movie. I enjoy the movie so much. Then I go home, listen to my favorite music again. Getting home, getting to bed. Morning I get some breakfast, listen to some music. And I decided to go to shopping, to, to get some groceries at the shopping mall. I go to the shopping mall and I get my groceries. And in the grocery stores there are some... Yeah, a lot of little groups and they talk a, bit, a little bit loud. So when I came close by, a lady turned around and told me, Oh, sir, did you see, did you see the, the terrorist attack in, in, in Paris yesterday evening? I said, Oh, no, there is an attack. Is there an attack? What, what kind of attack? And are there dead people? And uh, do they have the people already? And how would they? Uh, and oh, imagine it's in Amsterdam. It's in, now in Paris. Oh, yeah. This is, yes, the lady says, it's Charlie Abdo and this and this. And before I know, I give away my Friday evening and I give away my, give away my Saturday morning. But it's in the world. I cannot change it. But this was before I read my book. This was before I knew about the world and my world. But, the, but I was getting into the world. I didn't know anything about my Friday evening anymore. Not anything more about my nice Saturday morning. I was in the world. So all my emotions went into the world, but not in my world. So when I come, and after reading my book, then I come to the same situation. I come to the supermarket with the same Friday evening, with the same Saturday morning, and I come to the supermarket, and then I, I get my grocery, and the lady turns around, and then 
I said to her, she, she, she said, oh, do you know about the Charlie Abdo and this and this? And, and I said, oh, that's the only thing I say. And I go and take my groceries. Because the Charlie Abdo story, it doesn't serve me. I had a very nice Friday evening, a very nice Saturday morning, and I put it away to be in the world in the issue that is already been done. I cannot change it. The only thing I do is reproducing a kind of feeling by listening and go into it. So say O. Oh. O oh is direct communication with the consciousness because you're not going into emotions right away. So you're going into emotions when you go into it. But if you say O, oh, you have a fraction of a second that makes you aware that consciousness is not producing the things in the world for you because you're not part of it. I always say everything is nice. Always say everything is nice. If you, have, if you say everything is nice, then there is no judgment. Everything is nice. So in my book you will see how you see the world. How do you step in the world? What do you want out of the world? Look at the world as a stage. And from the stage you can take all kinds of props. You can take the prop happiness, you can take the prop everything. You know there is in the world, there is a war, there is love, everything is in the world. If you say everything is nice, you have no judgment. How do you see the world? I see 7.2 billion video games. Look at video games, look at a human being with a video game. What do you have switch on? What do you have switch on? Do you have switch on happiness, sadness? Do you have switch on war or peace? What do you have switch on? Where do you look at? Because what you look at will produce as your reality. Be aware of that. So look at the future. What is your desired situation? Always communicate your desired situation. You cannot communicate a war if you see a war as your desired situation. Then you have to know the war is in the world, not in your world. Try to do that, and that makes your life much easier. You're living from your desired situation. We are also not connected as a person in the world. We are connected with the consciousness. Consciousness is making the connection. Because if I'm hurting you, yeah, then I hurt myself when we are connected as a person with each other. But we are not. I can hurt you without hurting myself. So we're not connected as a human person. We are connected in the consciousness. So. In my book you're going to learn there's the world and your world. How do you step into the world? How do you donate your life in the world? So you have to see people the way you want them to function, not how they manifest themselves. Because if you look at the manifest from the people, then it's your world. And then you are part of them. But if you look at the world, see the world how you want it to be function, not how manifested. Because if you look at the manifest, then it's your world. So you have to take leadership. You have to take leadership of your life. You have to take the leadership into the life from the, what you want out of the world. There's all kinds of choices. What do you want? Take leadership to go into your world with desired situation. Any kind of circumstances. There's always a thought that produces your reality and your desired situation. My book will guide you always to live in your desired situation.